So Virgo, in the recent past, we have the Five of Swords. With the Five of Swords, you could have found yourself with some mixed feelings about life in general and probably about a few people in particular. It would have been important for you not to ignore these, but don't feel like you have to speak every word that you were thinking and feeling at that time either because you could have ruined the very things that you wanted the most, such as close, intimate relationships with your friends and lovers. So you needed to think several times before you really let someone have it, even if you knew they deserved it. You would have needed to pick your battles at that time. And that's the Five of Swords. It's paired with the Six of Swords. Now, this would have been a great time for travel of any sort, as you can see in the picture. It can also indicate metaphorical movement, a change in where you are inwardly. Usually this is a change for the better, whether the context is internal or external. So you would have needed to think about where you wanted to be at that time. Now, the Six of Swords shows at least a slight reduction in stress and strain. Things may not be perfect, but they're going to be better than they have been in the recent past. So take you should have taken this time to get your head above the water and decide where you're going from here. Even short breaks or change of scenery would have been helpful to you at that time. And just keep in mind, it, it wouldn't have had to cost a lot of money. Could have been just walks around the park. Uh, just something simple that that involved movement and probably exercise or exercise or travel. And so that's the recent past. Now let's move on to the present. We have the Six of Cups. Now this card, it's about nostalgia. You're looking back on how things used to be. It can be, but not always connected with children or childhood. It's, just, it's going to be important for you not to spend too much time and effort thinking about the good old days. We all have happy memories to reflect on from time to time. But if we start thinking that the best of years have all gone by, then that can, that can actually become a self-fulfilling prophecy. That's what the Six of Cups and it's paired with the Three of Cups. Now, this card is considered to be a card of reunions. But um, it's not always romantic reunion. Not always, but it can be. Now, it's a uh, reunion in the broadest sense. It's like, kind of like running back into someone or something that you have been away from for some time, for a long time maybe. Um, it's considered a happy reunion. It's very upbeat. It also can mean celebration, your own or someone that you care about, such as celebrating a new baby, baby showers, wedding, um, things like that, other happy occasions. Now with these two cards paired together, the Six of Cups, you're looking back on how things used to be. The good old days. So just don't, don't dwell in it and think that the best of all the years have gone by. Because like I said, that can become a self-fulfilling prophecy and it's paired with the Three of Cups. It's about reunions. So you must have had a reunion. It looks like you're going to have a reunion or you probably just had a reunion. And it was so nice that you're thinking, wow, if I could just go back. <laughs> it looks like you, you had a great time with this reunion or you're about to have a reunion. It could be romantic. It could be. Uh, wouldn't that be nice, right? <laughs> or it could be um, another type of reunion. It could be celebrating a, maybe a high school reunion or like I said, it could be a baby shower, something like that. But... It looks like you had a really great time or you're going to have a really great time with this reunion and um, you're going to cherish it. You're going to hold on to it and you're going to 
constantly be thinking about, wow, wasn't that great? You know, so that's a good thing. But just remember, don't, don't um, punish yourself by thinking, you know, wow, the best of everything is gone, you know. But um, just embrace and enjoy the reunion that's about to come towards you. And um, just, just have fun. Okay, so that's the present. Now we move on to the challenge. We have the Two of Pentacles. Two of Pentacles, uh, it's about two main issues at front in your mind. You may need to pull back from trying to pay attention to quite so many things. Because right now, multitasking, multitasking is not going to be your friend. It's not your friend right now. You'll probably have to cut down on things that you're doing in order to focus on, let's say, two main things, two main priorities. Your financial situation, it probably needs to be more balanced. The pinnacles are, are um, that's money. And you see how he's trying to balance those two pinnacles? So... It's, you see in the picture, he's trying to balance them out like he's juggling and he's got to level it out. So your financial situation, I'm, I'm showing that it may need to be more balanced. Be sure that you're paying more attention to that. Okay, so that's the two of pentacles. It's paired with the page of pentacles. Now, the page of pentacles is about boredom. You could be tempted to say or do things to shake things and people up just for a little excitement. You want to rethink that impulse at this time. Find a better use of your energy. Just know that excitement can be created. Now, the Page of Pentacles is a great, it's an excellent energy to support you when you have tedious work to get accomplished. The Page can give you focus, backbone, and the will to stick to a task that's not necessarily glamorous or fun. So with these two cards paired together, the two of pinnacles, you need to balance out, balance your finances, balance your finance, balance your dividends, balance your money. Um, multitasking is not your friend now. So cut down on that. And then focus more on probably your finances. That's what that's what this card is pretty much about, like I said. And then it, because it's paired with the Page of Pentacles, uh, okay, you're doing. Are you are you trying to shake things up for some fun and excitement, or are you thinking about it? Because that's what the Page of Pentacles is showing. Um, whereas you should be more focused on. Uh, your finances. So you want to use that energy. You're going to have a lot of energy with the Page of Pentacles. And it's saying that you need to rethink the impulse to find a better use of your energy. Even if you're not thinking of shaking things up to, to, um, to, to help you with your boredom and give you a little excitement. If you're not thinking about that, you just need to focus this energy. You're going to have a lot of energy. And um, it's going to be a great energy to get tedious work done that you've been probably putting off. It's a great energy to use for that. And it's a, it gives you backbone and will to stick to tasks that's not fun that you've been putting off. So use that energy that you're going to have with the Page of Pentacles. And forget about shaking things up and focus on the finances with the Two of Pentacles and focus on getting um, tedious work accomplished. And that's going to be the challenge. Now we move on to the outcome. We have the Knight of Pentacles. Now this card points to messages, often with regards to money and finance, but it could go either way. You are likely to um, finally maybe receive news. Well, yeah, with this card, it's about receiving news. It's messages. Okay, so you should be receiving news that you've been waiting on. This news is going to be good news. Because the Knights, it's a very 
practical card. It tells you to pay attention to the mundane and normal parts of your lives. You probably heard the saying before that if you take care of the little things, the big things will usually fall into place. Well, that's what the Knights is um, speaking about. It asks you to look at how you're handling your affairs and it's a very groundling influence. That's the Knight of Pentacles and it's paired with the Nine of Swords. With the Nine of Swords, you will need to guard against feelings of anxiety. If you're feeling anxious, take a good look at whether or not any of this is under your own power or control. Try to lessen it. Try to lessen it. Or if other things or people in your life are contributing to this anxiety, you need to find out, okay? If it is the if it is because of people, take a look at that and see whether or not something in the relationships can be changed to make it more workable for you. There's something about this time period that causes people to feel like their life should be in some way or more bigger than it is. So what you need to do is try to take comfort and joy in the ordinary things. That's where the beauty really is. With these two cards paired together, the Knight of Pentacles is about messages. Good news messages. It's coming, it's coming in. It's coming to you. Okay? It's going to um, make sure that you focus on the mundane and normal parts of your lives. That's, that's another thing that you should do, okay, with this Knight of Pentacles. But your finance and money is probably a part of the news. So I, I wish I could tell you what the good news was, but all I know is with this card, the Knight of Pentacles, it's a good news message, message coming, coming in, and um, it could be about money. Okay, pinnacles are money. It's money. Pinnacles always stand for money. And um, that's not a bad thing. That's a good thing. And then it's paired with a nine of swords. So there's going to be some anxiety in regards to this good news. So you need to handle that anxiety and make sure that you keep it under control. Okay. And this good news, like I said, it's going to be a part of the anxiety. So who knows, maybe you you hit the lottery and you're worried about what you're going to do with all that money. <laughs> so I wish, you good, I wish you good luck with the good news. And you probably don't need it. But um, that's a great thing, these two, two cards right here. Just focus on where to put your anxiety and balance balance that out because the good news that's coming in about finances it'll take care it should take care of itself and that's going to be the outcome so virgo i hope this resonate as you know general readings they don't always resonate with everyone then again if you like this reading please like subscribe leave a comment if that's what you care to do i thank you so very much for watching and have a great day